What is up you guys? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And you already know what day it is today. It is any Monday. The day where I draw fan art and anime based off requests for you guys. But a little disclaimer here for you guys before I jump into it. Um, as things start to reopen, I had to return to work and stuff. So usually I try to post about like three or four videos a week and it's gonna slim down here since my time is gonna become more limited. But I just want to let you guys know. But let's jump right into it. So this time around, I did not put up a poll. I am sorry, I've been very busy. So this is just some off the top type shit. So yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, let's begin. Uh, the way how I usually begin my drawings always is with the base circle. As you always see like I drew on this one, the base circle and the triangle because it really gives the body the most form. And with this image, I decided to draw my character with a baggy clothes set. So her arms look a little wonky because they're going to be pretty much covered up with clothing. I just had to figure out where the top portion of the clothing is going to be at. So it doesn't head to you guys. That's what I did there. And if you ever played a video game called Jet Set Radio Future or Jet Grind Radio, there's this move that they do called sketching, I believe. And it's where they like do this weird power slide on the ground until their feet are kind of weird looking. And so I wanted to draw my character doing that, but in a cool fashion. I actually had her legs kind of vanish and disappear a little bit as if they turn into like a type of electrical current or something. Like she has a superpower and it looked really cool at the end and I really did enjoy the way how it looked. And uh, yeah, it was just really cool, something that looked cool and it was a little bit different for me. And um, yeah, but let me talk about some of the, the hardships I had with this image. The clothing was the main hardships. Uh, Realistically, I just drew big old blobs around the clothing just to show where it should be before I started adding in detail. But I was having a little issues with the, because I wanted to give her something more than just like a pair of pants. I wanted to do a skirt. I don't do skirts very often. And so I wanted to give it a little bit of flavor to it. So that's what I did. And it came out pretty nicely. Uh, it took me a little while. I took my time with this. As you can see in the video, I periodically stop here and there just to look at the image and figure out how I want things to be placed. And that's one thing you should always do when you're creating images is just to look at it every once in a while to see what might need to be changed take a step back zoom out of it whatever you got to do to see what might be disproportionate or something and that's what i did time to time here and it really helps speed up your your artwork so you don't have to go back and redo things tear apart our entire arm and then redraw it and so that's what i did and it came out very nicely and i enjoyed that as you can see the picture is she's kind of blocky and that's what i did for her i deleted all of the internal details uh like the uh all the lines I did for the, the, the triangles, the circles, and things like that, all those skeletal lines, I got rid of those because it helps clean up the body as you're drawing it so you don't get confused with newer detail that you add to it. Usually I do just switch the color around to a different color and it helps out a lot. But in this case, I had completely forgot to make a new layer. So I'm drawing the red lines right above the blue lines. And usually I always make a new layer just in case I need to go back and delete anything. It's going to be separate. And when you draw over other lines in Adobe Illustrator, it's a bit difficult, especially when you're trying to pick uh, certain little segments out. Uh, and if you use the magic wand tool, it will select every color in that color range. And so it, it makes it more difficult. And so I was like, darn and that was my big mistake of this image was drawing the red lines directly over the blue lines i forgot to make a layer you always should always make a layer whenever you start any new type of line art because it really does help out it keeps everything clean and well organized and that's pretty much it this image was a very fun image it wasn't too difficult the legs and the uh, the line art issues was my main issues here the legs was a bit wonky because i usually don't draw my legs uh, caving into each other like they are in this image and it's running apart it's just a weird look it's like she's like i said if you have ever done this before where like let's say it's raining outside and you've got some like some vans on and you decide to go run uh, really fast and then stop your feet and then slide along the smooth concrete it's just like that and you know you make this almost exact same pose and that's where i got the idea it's been raining a lot for the past couple days and i was like you know what why not why not it'd be cool it'd be fun but we're not getting towards the end of the video and you know what i do it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys enjoyed this off the top type of shit and yeah hopefully you guys stay tuned for my next poll when i put it up sorry i didn't put one up this time but yeah you know all that bullshit rate comment subscribe hit that like button hit the bell icon all that your boy out enjoy the speed section